This is a demonstration of a Pack 1 overheat in flight. Cancel the master caution. Let's look at the fault indications. A fault message and associated checklist on the engine warning display. The ECAM bleed page has been automatically called to show amber indications. A fault light has illuminated on the air conditioning control panel. On the EWD, read the title of the failure. Before you begin, notice that the pack flow control valve has closed. This occurred automatically when the overheat was detected to protect the pack from damage. The valve color indication is amber because the valve position disagrees with the switch position. The compressor outlet temperature is also amber because the temperature limit has been exceeded. Notice also that since the pack valve has closed, the supply line from the pack to the mixer unit has turned amber. This happens because there is no airflow from the pack to the mixing unit. Read and perform the ECAM actions. The first step on ECAM directs you to turn off pack 1. This is to match pack switch and pack valve position and prepare to reset the pack. Note that the fault light on the pack push button switch is illuminated to help you locate it and to indicate the overheat condition. Switch off pack 1. When pack 1 is turned off, an off light illuminates in the switch and the pack valve indication turns green, showing valve switch agreement. Notice that the fault light is still on. The completed procedural step disappears from the engine warning display. Let's move on to the next step of the procedure, which has two parts. The first part, a condition line, is not an action, but an analysis. We are to determine if the pack overheat is out. The fault light in the switch is extinguished, and the compressor outlet temperature indication is green, so we can conclude that the overheat is out. Therefore, accomplish the next ECAM action by turning Pack 1 back on. Switch on Pack 1. When the pack switch is turned back on, the off light is extinguished. Normal memos replace the failure message on the EWD because the failure condition no longer exists. 
and the cruise page returns to the system display. The failure message is read. Conditioning. Trim air system fault. The ECAM procedures are now followed. In the case of a trim air system fault, there is no action required by the crew. The next step in this example is to clear ECAM. Clear ECAM. Because this was just a crew awareness and no action was required by the crew, no status page is displayed. The crew's page is now displayed and the clear lights are out. The ECAM procedure for a trim error fault is complete. Should an ECAM or QRH procedure require the use of the ram air switch, it is operated by lifting the guarded flap and pushing the switch. Select the ram air switch. An on light eliminates in the switch, the valve will open, and the indication on the ECAM bleed page will change to show this. Note that ECAM procedures normally call for the aircraft to be below flight level 100 minimum en route altitude before operating the ram air valve, since the aircraft will depressurize. Let's look at another abnormal indication. The hot air fault light illuminates amber when a duct overheat is detected. If this occurs, the hot air pressure regulating valve and the trim air valves automatically close. Now let's look at some other abnormal indications associated with the air conditioning system. If a fault in a cabin recirculation fan is detected, the cabin fan indication is displayed in amber. The zone control computer with two channels normally operates without any indications to the pilots. However, should a fault occur, there are backup modes of operation with associated indications. In the first case, should a primary channel failure occur, the secondary channel takes over and optimized temperature regulation is lost. An alternate mode message appears and the hot air and trim air valves close. On the status page, you are advised that the cabin zone is at a fixed temperature. In the second case, if a dual channel failure occurs, there is no zone temperature regulation. The packs deliver a fixed temperature and the message Pack Reg appears on the ECAM condition page. Note also that there are no indications of zone or duct temperature. On the status page, you are advised that the packs are delivering air at a fixed temperature.